What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Edge. In this video I'll show you guys how to create a help window. This is something that you'll see on somebody's website when you hover over something and it'll give you some more information about that particular um, box or button or whatever it is. So I have my Adobe Easy logo over here. I'm going to right click on this and convert to symbol and let's call this info. Now this button when I hover over it will tell me a little bit more about Adobe Easy. So I'm going to right click on this, open actions and select mouse over. This code that I'm pasting in is the style for the mouse over. It turns the cursor into a help cursor. I called the button info before, and that's where it goes over here, the label name. On the mouse over, it's going to play Adobe Easy. So I have that in quotations. I'm going to add a mouse out, and all we're going to do is have it play in reverse. So what happens is, is that somebody rolls over it, It'll open up the window, and then when somebody moves away on a mouse out, it'll play in reverse, and it will not show up anymore. And that's what we want. So in quotations, Adobe Easy. Now let's close this out. So right over here, we're going to put a trigger and select Stop. I'm going to come over here and create myself a label and call it Adobe Easy. So let's do this. Let's add a rectangle, and then let's add some text over here that gives us some more information. and lower the opacity, and then add another keyframe and increase it. Put a trigger here and hit stop. And we can do the same thing for the actual text. One keyframe for opacity. And then increase the opacity. So let's test this out and see if it works. Control enter. So when I hover over this, you'll see the pointer with the question mark, and then when I move away, the box disappears. So that's it. That's how you add a help window to your webpage. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.